You don't really see me too much on stage anymore, huh? Yeah. Um, if you look around, there are so many of you auto sales masters here. Uh, nevertheless, some of our competitors want to talk bad about us. They say you can't make any money through Atomy. Uh, I hope all of you will not badmouth other companies. The more we become successful, the more attacks we're going to get. I hope all of you will be better than that. You should not talk bad about others. There are also some of our members who talk about our products by comparing them with other brands. Yes, of course those comparisons are made based on facts, but did you know that it's illegal to sell products by comparing them to other brands? You are not allowed to compare in detail the products of other brands. So if you're selling the products by comparing them to other brands, that is actually violating the Fair Trade Act here in Korea. Thus, I hope all of you will not compare our products to other brands, even though it's true that our products are very good and very affordable. Just let other people know that the products are good. You should just let the consumers compare the brands on their own. Some people are impatient, so they want to show how good Atomy's products are by comparing them to other brands. Um, but you don't need to be that anxious. Uh, you really do need to be patient while doing the Atomy business. That's the best way to go about this. Atomy is now in a good position where we have become a veteran in this field compared to other new companies. We are now in a position where we have become the forerunner of this sector. That means that we need to act accordingly. Do you understand me? So, you don't need to be anxious. You know how companies say that they have a system that makes quick money? Of the companies that have promised quick money, none of them have survived. Network marketing companies that were managed focused on money and the ones that said they could earn the members quick money, all of them have collapsed. There's not a single one that survived. That is why you should not be anxious about making money too quickly. Those companies could earn you quick money and grow very quickly, but what happens later on? They collapse at an even faster pace. So when you are trying to form an organization, you cannot prioritize money. You need to make a group based on the products and the consumers. It cannot be a system that prioritizes the compensation plan. An important question to ask is how many auto sales masters are there under me? How much your own rank has gone up is not really important at all. Um, I can see that some of you are anxious to be promoted very quickly. But you shouldn't fret. Don't worry about it. And there are also some members who are up in the high ranks, but they're still having a difficult time doing this business. This is because they didn't build their business based on the consumers, but they only focused on being promoted. Once again, I'm trying to emphasize that there are people who are high in the ranks, but are still anxious and having a hard time with this business. I'm not talking about another company here. Even within Atomy, if you focus on only trying to make quick money, there will be such side effects. It's guaranteed. <sighs> I want everyone to adhere to the principles of the Bible. Um, uh, in Corinthians chapter 13, there's a chapter about love. The chapter mentions how love is not seeking its own interest. This is why when you do the Atomy business, if you focus on your own interests, it will not work. Whose interests should you seek? You have to seek your partner's interests. Even if you are in a 
difficult situation, even if you're desperate for money, you, you have to look around you for those who are less fortunate. Even if you are so desperate, you should still think for your partners first. You should say, I'll help you out. If you have that kind of attitude, it is inevitable that you will succeed. So, before looking after your own needs, whose needs should you look after first? Your partners. Uh, there is something that I've been doing these days. Um, I'm studying in a graduate program for about five years now. I have now finished two years of my master's degree. The PhD program that I'm currently in is three years long. Actually, I had to hand in a report just last week, so I was quite preoccupied. I only have one semester left, and all I have to do now is write my thesis. Um, some people might ask why I'm trying to get a degree at this age. Um, actually, being the president of Atomy has more fame than having any kind of a PhD would have. Yeah. So, why am I even trying to get this degree? It's not because I enjoy studying at all. I really don't think I'm cut out to enjoy studying. The reason why I'm persevering in this uh, is because there's something that I must do. Uh, there's, there is no textbook or any guide concerning network marketing that is being taught in universities or in graduate school. There is no proper textbook that has been published yet. There are actually some published, but they're not accurate. That is why I want to personally write a textbook. The image of network marketing in our society is not very good at all. I believe that there is a reason for this. All of you know Company A, right? A professor at the University of Chicago, Charles King, after doing much research on Company A, wrote about network marketing in a textbook. That textbook soon spread all across the world. People all across the world read that textbook and it was translated and studied by many students as well. Uh, Company A, which we respect very much, did not quite have a perfect system back then. Of course, some of it's understandable. The framework for the company is already 50 to 60 years old. There are areas that need to be majorly changed. Considering how fast the field of academia changes, it is obvious that there are bound to be some problems to a framework that was designed 50 to 60 years ago. However, Company A has contributed immensely in the field of network marketing. No one can downplay the influence the company has had on this field. If Company A did not exist, the MLM business would not exist at all. Therefore, I have the utmost respect and gratitude towards that company. Nevertheless, there are some areas in which we can improve. For example, in the textbook, it is written, Network marketing companies' products need to be unique. In other words, it needs to be products that cannot be found anywhere else. This is what's written in the textbook. But if you look at Atomy's products, of course there are some unique products such as Hemohim, but the rest of the products are not really that unique at all. There are general products such as cosmetics, shampoo, ramen, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and detergent, then we can say that Atomy's products are not unique products that can't be found just anywhere. Rather, they are everyday household items with good quality and at an affordable price. Thus, to say, in a distribution business, the products need to be unique is not true at all. This is not the essence of network marketing. The essence of the business is to provide good quality products at a more affordable price compared to other distribution channels. This is the essence of doing business through distribution channels. That is why there are tactics that have been used by different distribution businesses by introducing wholesale warehouses where consumers can buy better products at cheaper prices.
There are even cheaper ways to provide better products. And those methods are through TV home shopping or internet shopping malls. Through improving its products and lowering the price, this is how companies are competing with one another. That is why textbooks are saying that MLM companies need to deal with products that are not dealt with in other businesses. That is what they're teaching. There is actually a problem in that explanation as well. The textbooks uh, are explaining only through this strategy. Network marketing companies can adopt a different price policy and reap huge profits. I think that this is the wrong approach to take. A distribution channel will only have value when the company can provide the same products at a cheaper price. These are just some of the notions that need to be changed. This explanation of network marketing companies is outdated compared to other theories of management. There are actually no books uh, that deal with this new definition about network marketing companies. Not many books are being published in this area to begin with. I noticed before many books were being published concerning the field of network marketing company, but these days there are no new books that are being published. Therefore, this explanation of network marketing companies is academically outdated. So I felt the need to improve this area in academics. These are just some of the things that have been on my heart. Uh, when I write this new explanation, it will be written in Korean first, obviously. Soon after, it will be translated into English, Chinese, Japanese, and even Spanish, and hopefully into German and French as well. Then, this book will be sent to the National Assembly Libraries. Yeah. Next, the book will be sent to prominent universities all over the world to professors studying this field of business administration and management as well. By doing so, I plan to let the world know about the essence of network marketing. Next, I will make known the contributions the network marketing model can make in this society and what kind of positive aspects it inherently possesses. Also, I want to introduce solutions uh, on how to make such societal contributions possible. That is why I am currently trying to write a textbook that can achieve all of this. Recently, I participated in a direct sales association meeting in Australia. At the meeting, Atomy was being introduced as a case model. The lecturer came to Korea before. She came across Atomy previously uh, when she came to Korea for the 40th anniversary celebration of Korea's Direct Sales Association. Apparently, at the time, Atomy was chosen to represent Korea's direct sales companies, and I was there giving a presentation. When I was giving the presentation about Atomy, the lecturer said that's when she was first introduced to our company. She said that our company was truly a great company. She even introduced our company motto. Yeah. And our values, such as survivability, speed, and balance. Next, she introduced our absolute quality and absolute low price strategies. She said she was surprised that there was such a company. She stated direct sales businesses in Australia needed to follow our model. There was another part where she was touched, and it was when I talked about balance. So what does balance mean to us? Uh, it means distributing the value which we have created to everyone in a balanced manner. The lecturer said she was very touched when she heard this. She even added that that was the reason she was presenting Atomy. Atomy has not even launched in Australia yet. However, someone was already doing a presentation about Atomy in front of the president of the Direct Sales Association, in front of representatives from the Department of Commerce, the National Tax Service, the Protection Consumer Board, and etc. Atomy was being presented in front of these kinds of people as panelists in the event. This in itself 
already proves that atomy can be a company worthy of being mentioned in textbooks worldwide. Such is not the case only in Korea, even in China right now. Um, they are requesting that we launch Atomy there as quickly as possible. The process to launch Atomy in China is really quite complicated, so it actually is going to take some more time. However, we are slowly trying to overcome the challenges and trying to adapt to the atmosphere there. So about $18.5 million have been invested in China. Under Chinese law, one must have a factory before they will issue a permit. So we are currently building multiple factories there. Atomy, along with Colmar B&H, have invested 50% each to build huge hemohem factories in China. So we are investing about $6 million in that. We're actually doing more than just building factories. You know that there are billions of people in China, right? So we are also building a massive stadium that can hold at least 20,000 people. Yeah, that's because the population of Shandong Peninsula uh, only accounts for about 100 million people. We need to have a facility that can hold a very large number of people. Right now, Yantai Kozen has proposed that we build an industrial complex for Atomy. So, at the moment, we are, we are currently in the process of talking about this project. They proposed that they would give us about 40 acres. Considering all of this, we are expecting very great things from China. But you should not start selling our products there just yet. Do you hear me? It is not too late to start after receiving permission from the government. Many people say that you have to start early to succeed in Atomy. But that's not really true at all. Many people, they also say that timing is important because that's how it's explained in the textbooks. So many people say that timing is important in network marketing. Let's think about that statement for just a second. If only those who start early can reap rewards, what happens to people that join later? That would be a big problem, right? Companies uh, that choose to promote themselves in such a way, what's going to happen to them 10 years later? People are gonna leave, right? So you should not say such things. A company that will last a long time is never going to say those kinds of things. It's not about the timing. The textbooks are wrong. Actually, many leaders even emphasize in their lectures that timing is important in network marketing. Then what happens to the people who start late? Those people will not be motivated to work hard. And where are all the people who miss their chance going to go? They're going to go to new network marketing companies. That company is going to collapse sooner or later. So companies that talk about the importance of timing, they are very short-sighted. That's why they talk about timing. A true network marketing company, uh, they should not discriminate among members who started late in the business. I will update these explanations in my textbooks. That is the only way that a company will last 10, 50, even 100 years. If 100 years later, everyone has left the company and has gone to a different company, that's not a sustainable company at all. That kind of company won't even last for 10 years. So what must be done? Regardless of timing, everyone must be number one. Anatomy. Let's say you started at this point. Then after some time, your compensation will be fixed and it will not change. Yeah. And then there's the compensation that is received depending upon rank. This is needed as well. As shown in the graph, even if you do start late, everyone can meet at the top. Therefore, anatomy, it does not matter even if you do start late. 
Actually, if you're tired, you can rest and start again 10 or 20 years later. It's really okay. Why? Because Atomy's system is designed so that it's okay even if you start late. What will happen if 10 to 20 years later only a few people are able to reach the top? At Atomy, we always say, see you at the top. What would happen if only a few people could ever reach the top? Let's say, for example, a few people reach the peak. Then what happens? Let's say that no one can reach the top anymore because they all missed the proper timing. Then what's going to happen? These people are going to fall. They will crash as if they never had wings. Then, is it right to say that timing is important in network marketing business? Not at all. People who say such things are people who do not know anything about network marketing yet. They are short-sighted people. They are cutting off their noses to spite their own face. They're going to find themselves eating those words. By saying that timing is important, they are implying their company will collapse in five to 10 years. In conclusion, all the companies that have said they can make quick money None of them have survived in the history of business. All of these companies failed because they only focused on climbing the ranks. That is why, ironically, in order for you to survive in network marketing, you need to totally forget about the compensation framework. You will fail if you only focus on your compensation plan. You must focus on the products you need a steady and reliable consumer group and you need to make them become auto consumers. Yes, you should challenge yourself to reach higher ranks, but how should you do that? You should not do that by buying many products yourself to raise your ranks. Rather, you should focus on making many auto consumers under you. You should challenge yourself by saying, I will make many auto consumers under me this month. Can you repeat after me? A beautiful challenge. Yeah. Let us call the challenge of making many consumers a beautiful challenge. A beautiful challenge. Once again, if you only try to raise your PVs by purchasing many of Atomy's products by yourself, you are going to fail. If you hear around you that someone doesn't have that much money, even after they become a Sharon Rose Master or a Star Master, and say that there is not much left after their expenses, those people are the ones that only focused on their ranks by purchasing themselves the products. That is why taking shortcuts is not a good thing. It is about making many consumers under you. You have to work hard yourself, then together with your partners. Making 100, 1,000, even 10,000 consumers under you is what the Atomy business is all about. It is the same for working overseas as well. I hope you will not be anxious about being the first ones out there. That is not how an organization is made. The Atomy business is all about holding on to that one person and supporting them until the very end. There is no such thing as a free lunch. There are, of course, some instances where your partner might be smarter than you so he will be more diligent than you. But in most cases, you are going to have to be the one who runs around furiously. You need to have the will that you will be the one that will form this organization. Therefore, I plead to you all that you don't be hasty in going abroad. Don't put too much on your plate. You should know your own limitations and capabilities. Just do as much as your capabilities are capable of doing. Sometimes you feel like you can challenge yourself and you can take a bigger bite than you can handle. A little bit of a challenge is actually a good thing. When you work hard and when you are supported by the company with these seminars, then when all these things come together, you will be able to perform at higher than your capacity. None of this comes for free. Let's take the Philippines branch, for example. In the beginning, there were many contractors that went out, and there were thousands of people during the opening. It's actually pretty quiet over there now. That's why I go myself to the Philippines these days.
The same thing happened during the U.S. opening as well. When I first went to the opening, more than 10 royal leaders tagged along with me. I told them to just come later, but they all came along anyway. I knew they were only going once or twice after that. It would have been better if only a few came along with me. So many went in the beginning that after that, no one went to the U.S. Since then, we created a system so that the royal leaders can take turns and visit the eastern and western parts of the United States. Actually, it wouldn't be an overstatement to say that the U.S. market was made possible due to the royal leaders. It was due to their sweat and blood. We never back down once we decide on something. I will actually return to the Philippines as well. I will revive the market there once again. If you have the know-how, you know how to revive the market during hard times. However, people who do not have such know-how will just give up after little difficulty. If I was told that it doesn't work in the Philippines, I would start from scratch. I would go do seminars there constantly. I would probably move to the Philippines. Yeah. I would do whatever it took to revive the market. This is what it takes to do a business. This is the attitude you all should have when treating your partners. When they are trying to give up because it's too difficult, you have to be responsible for them and encourage them. You have to tell them, I will help you up. This is how far you need to go in order to make your partners successful. You need to have this kind of attitude. This is what a successful person does. And that is how you lead your partners. This actually shows your will. Your will is your power. This is the power of your mind, the power of confidence. Capabilities are merely secondary. Confidence and strength and sheer will. All of these things should have been taught in school. But what do students do in school? They just have you memorize and write. Many of you have gone through such an education system. It's ridiculous. So when you face a problem, you're not trained to think of a way to figure out how to overcome these challenges. That is why I'm trying to build schools. Yeah. Next March, the 10th grade curriculum will be launched. Uh, there are 60 of them, and I will not leave them alone. Just wait till they come. I will not force them to study, actually. Uh, I will teach them to have determination, no matter what kind of difficulties they face in this world. I want to teach them courage. Students who say they want to commit suicide, I will not leave them alone. I will not leave them alone until they scream for help. Suicide? Are you kidding me? That is because the parents are always threatening their children. How will you live in this world like that? Parents, please don't say these things to your children. How will you live in this world like this? What do you mean, how will they live? They'll be fine. Everyone somehow finds a way to live. All they need is the courage to live and they will be fine. It is the parents that are sucking the life out of their children. It's okay to be bad at school. The president of Atomy was bad at school too. I actually flunked two grades during school. Everyone around me was worried. How will you live from now on? But now I'm the president of Atomy, right? Hmm? In September, the air purifier will be launched. We had originally planned to launch it in June, but I reviewed the product. And I requested that the product be made perfect. I told them to make it into absolute quality. I told them to make it into a number one product even after 10 years, because you will use it for 10 years, right? If you just change the filter, you can keep on using it. All you have to do is change the filter and it's as if it's still new. That is why I requested 
that the product be made so that it will stay number one in the market even 10 years from now. It is actually taking a few extra months because we're making improvements to the noise and the power efficiency. We are also not trying to fool the customers by hiking up the prices on the filters. There are many companies that use these kinds of tactics. So they say they will give you the machine for free, but the filter for those machines for 10 years are sometimes more expensive than the machine itself. That's what happens if you keep using the air purifier, right? You can use it for 10 or even 20 years. When the companies make huge profit margins on the filters, those consumers will not be able to switch their air purifiers. Those kinds of companies actually exist. Anatomy. The machine will be absolute price, and the filters will also be absolute price. There are a few projects that I'm doing these days. We are trying to give back to our society. We have donated $1 million yearly to Shiloam Eye Center. However, I think we have to donate around $10 million now. I actually wanted to do that before, but it is so difficult to receive a license for a school. We need the school to be an official nonprofit entity, so up until now, I've just been keeping the money in my account. Also, you know board member Kyung Hee Do, right? She also received a lot of the company's dividends. She is currently trying to establish a center for single mothers. An organization called With Mom is being run by a young man who is only in his 20s. So we didn't feel like we needed to start something new. Since With Mom is doing well, we decided to fund them instead. The organization is not a legal entity just yet. When they receive their license, we will continue to support them. They have about a few hundred single mothers there, but data shows that there are over 40,000 single mothers in Korea. So I proposed to, with mom, that they take in all the single mothers in Korea. If we do that, there will be some that come and some that don't. Of course, the best is for the child to grow up in a family. It is best and even normal if the grandparents are able to take care of the child. There are instances, however, that such is not the situation. It is in our hearts to help them with PR and also embrace the children with warm hearts. Hopefully, the children that couldn't finish school can go back to school. I think these are some of the things that we need to do in the future. Uh, in October, we are finally going to explore the remains of Noah's Ark located in Turkey's Ararat Mountain. Uh, we've currently signed an agreement, having paid $500,000. Now, Atomy will be sponsoring this expedition. The expedition team will have the Atomy logo printed on their backs. And we also built that building over there. Do you see it? Yeah. We finished raising that building. And this is also part of Atomy's building. Amongst Atomy's daughter companies, there is Ararat Trading Company in Turkey. You didn't know about that? Hmm, yeah. Whatever the case, as you can see, I'm working hard. In the future, I'm planning to bring in Turkish specialty products through this trading company in Korea, China, and Taiwan. That is why I first established a local company here in Turkey. And that is why that building is built over there. However, the main purpose of this building is to serve as a headquarters for the Ararat expedition team that will go up the mountain to explore. Now, we will also be installing a huge Atomy logo there as well. And all the people that come to explore the Ararat mountain will probably take a picture in front of the logo, right? Do you think Atomy will be known all across the world or not? Yes, Atomy will be known all across the world. Just with that one picture, we will have paid for the building in full. When those people who visit Ararat Mountain post their videos on YouTube, it will spread all across the world. Up until 2,000 meters at Ararat Mountain, you have to get in a four-wheeler Jeep. Atomy's logo will be written all over the Jeep's side as well.
That will be in people's pictures and videos as well. From 2,000 to 3,000 meters, you have to get on a horse or a mule. And also on the horse's bottom, Atomy's logo will be stuck there as well. Yeah. When the Ark will be excavated, videos of the expedition will go viral all over the world. This will serve as an important part in proclaiming the gospel. Ararat Mountain is actually 5,200 meters tall. It is double the height of Bakdu Mountain in Korea. It is really a very tall mountain. The Ark, which was covered by the glaciers, can be reached through its opening because the ice has melted due to global warming. Noah's Ark is a huge ship that is about 150 meters long. Imagine such a big ship placed on top of a 4,000 meter mountain. That is impossible even with today's machines. There's no way that such a big boat can be up there. Uh, if a ship weighs over 10,000 tons, it is very hard to drag that ship to the shore. But imagine bringing a ship up to a mountain that high. It looks like Mount Fuji, right? But it's not actually Mount Fuji. It is difficult to even carry a piece of a log up to that mountain. Then imagine how such a big ship ended up that high. The only possible explanation is the water levels reached that altitude. What then can we say about the Great Flood? It was real. The Bible, in fact, is not a legend or a mythology. God did create this world, and God created humans like you as well. That is why we must know our roots. Hmm? Because we do not know our roots. We don't know the purpose of our lives. You think that you were lucky to have met Atomy and that you just live like that aimlessly. But I am here to tell you that Atomy is not the essence of life. You need to know why God the Creator has created you. You need to know this truth. That is the way to know the truth of life. You need to know Jesus. What I want to say is that the Bible is true. If the Bible is true, what about heaven and hell? They exist. Just as people are destined to die once and after that to face judgment, there is an eternal fire. For those that ignore this warning, God will punish them as he did during Noah's time. At that time, God punished the people with water. There is a great warning that says God will use fire to punish those who don't listen to his warning. What is the message of this warning? At that time, whoever was in Noah's ark was saved. What do you think Noah's heart was like when he came out of the ark and all the people were wiped out? He probably had friends and relatives who had passed away, and he probably thought of them when he saw the deep waters. I see all of you as Noah saw his friends and family. If you don't believe in Jesus, who acts as the ark of this age, as all the people died drowning in deep water, all of you will go to the pits of fiery hell. How much time do you think you have left? If you think about it, you don't have that much time left at all. Do you think people will go to this fiery pit or not? If you don't listen to the warning, in 50 years, people will end up there. If alive, he will probably be all wrinkly and old, wearing an oxygen mask for life support. That is why we need to know our roots. We need to know where we come from, and we need to clearly know the essence of our being. Only then can we find the answer to life. Uh, that is why I truly hope that all of you can become Atomy members that sincerely think about Jesus. I hope you will know that the Bible is true. Uh, if you become an imperial master and receive one million dollars but die right after that, how meaningless would that life be? I hope each and every one of you can really receive that one million dollars seek eternal life and learn eternal truth from the Bible. I mean that sincerely. Thank you very much.